DeAndre Jordan has played this season? I mean, he's played with him for, for a while. Has he really embraced the role that he has, or is there something new that's been happening here with him? Uh, no, man, I think mean, it's just the, the confidence that the coaching staff instills in him, and, and like you said, him embracing that role, um, which you know, every guy's going to embrace a role like that, I think. Um, and, and he's just he's doing an unbelievable job. You know, gobbles up every rebound around him, offensive glass, defensive glass, blocking shots, altering shots. It's, just, it's unbelievable. When he's active like that out there, how much easier does it make your job? Uh, it makes it easier. I mean, when, when everybody's doing their individual job, um, that's that's when you have a, a you know collective team effort. And uh, whether shots are going in or not, but when, when you're doing your job defensively, um, it, it allows you to, to be in games. That's what we need. Is there any common thread in the last three games that you felt like the team has embraced and been consistent with? Uh, we leaned on our defense at times when we needed it. Um, and we allowed our defense to get get us into offense and get us going on the offensive end. Uh, there was a stretch tonight you know, where it seemed like we missed kind of a lot of shots in a row or you know, didn't hit as many. Um, but I thought we, we stayed in the game and we, you know, we, we kept our lead. Or we maintained our lead because of our defense. A couple of guys used the term uh, sluggish tonight. Is that the way you sort of felt overall? Is yeah, I was. I mean, I, I was telling somebody in the locker room I was tired like two minutes into the game. Um, you know, I don't know why. I guess it's just kind of like that that lag. Um, but you know, it was a good win for us, and, and I was proud of the way we played and, and, and gutted it out. So this point, you know, you couldn't step on the gap and you had them down though, because a few times looked like it was going to be a blowout, and they just kept fighting their way. Yeah, back. it's a learning learning point for us. I mean, when we get teams like that, we got to. Like you said, you know, put the pedal to the metal and, and, and um, run away with it. Um, just because you can't allow teams to, to stay around, especially teams like that with so many shooters and so many weapons offensively. Blake, when you get four or five assists in the first quarter like that, do you notice a difference in what it does to your game later as far as opening things up or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I think it, it allows me to, to have a little bit more space because I think you know, you're not going to crowd the paint as much. Um, you're going to kind of be aware of, of other guys around you um, defensively. So it you know, gives me a little bit more room to operate, uh, which you know, is, is definitely what I want. Thoughts on uh, how you guys are doing at home this season, and taking care of Biz, and then obviously with Denver coming in next? Uh, we've played well, but I mean, we can always play better. I, mean, I don't think we'll ever really be satisfied um, unless we were 27 and now. I do that math real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, with, with Denver coming in, it's another game where, you know, they're, they're a team that's capable of, of you know, having a, having a big scoring night, um, solid defensive team. So um, it's another good test for us. And every, like I said, every game is, is a new test. Your practice tomorrow, are you going to be seeing Anchorman? <laughs> I will, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still going to go in. But. <laughs>